Hey, all you pageant patrons out there. This is Isaac again, and apparently Nikki Dumora fell after the evening gown competition uh, in the Miss Grand competition. So what I'm gonna do is shout out to Crown Sisters. I'm gonna use their video, just do a quick reaction video for you. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Absolutely, uh oh, there she goes right there. And I think that's Miss, Miss Puerto Rico and uh, one of the pageant helpers there, they, they helped her up. And um, apparently that happened right in front of Mr. Nawat. Um, and I know most of you have probably seen the evening gown competition already. She looked absolutely gorgeous in her pink evening gown. I think everybody's calling her Barbie right now. But here's the implication of that particular fall. From the beginning of this competition, it is known that Apparently, Mr. Nawat, they are looking at everything from the moment that you arrive until basically the time that you leave. And so if that is the case, this can possibly be seen as a negative. Why? Because what is happening is if he's trying to keep the image of the pageant and he's looking at everything, it's not really a good look. All right. That's that's kind of that's sort of one train of thought. But also you can kind of flip that. And if and I, I know most of you probably saw the swimsuit competition that came after that. She slayed it at the swimsuit competition. She looked fierce. She looked gorgeous. And while she was on stage in her evening gown, same thing. Her turns were perfect. I mean, the gown fit right. It, it, she looked absolutely stunning. So then the flip side of that is, you know, she can have you know, a little, a little mishap, and then she can come back from that and be even stronger. Here's what I'm going to say to the Philippines. You, you, you've got to manage your expectations. We already know, or most of you have told me, that you believe that it's a cooking show. And if it is a cooking show, then you have to learn the ingredients, much like Marites gave me the ingredients for this ube cookie, uh, which I've tried it earlier. So well, anyway, that's, that's a different subject. But if you understand what the ingredients are, if you believe that it is a cooking show, then we cannot keep jumping on her saying, oh, well, she needs to do this. She needs to do that. What you need to do is vote. Go and vote. Go and vote. Go and vote. Okay. Because what does it then you have no reason to complain. Much like anything else, it's easy to sit back and be, uh, you know, I've, I've used this term before in America, we call it an armchair quarterback. In other words, you can call all the shots, but you're not there, okay? If you believe that it's a cooking show, then all you do is vote and get your contestant as high as possible. It is easy to sit back and complain, oh, well, that's, that looks horrible. Then on the flip side, wait a minute, yeah, she fell, but she was stunning in her evening gown. She had a little mishap and she fell. If they're looking for everything, though, if they're looking for the totality of your performance on and off the stage, then I will say this will probably be seen as a negative. Why is that? We already know that earlier in the competition, she had a mishap and she was she was late for an event, I do believe, um, earlier in the competition. So if you combine that with her fall, will she make the top 20? I, I believe she'll make the top 20. One, she's gorgeous. Two, her walks have been flawless. Uh, even after this, like I said earlier, she it was the swimsuit competition. She slayed it in the swimsuit competition. Strong moves, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So now what has to happen is, I think I said it already, but let me say it one more time. You need to go vote and get her as high as you can in the competition. I believe she'll make the top 20. But if you take the totality of her performance on and off the stage, I'm not sure she's going to make the top five. I, I think it's going to be a, I think it'll be a coin toss. Um, it just depends on what he's looking for. And if you believe it's a cooking show and he has already made his decision, then at least vote to get her as high as we can in the competition. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys um, sticking around. And uh, again, if you know or if you believe it's a cooking show, figure out what the ingredients are. Just like this ube cookie I'm about to eat. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Peace out.